Damn, you know, now that I'm really looking at them, they're not very bright. Well, I ended up getting these two LED lights from Amazon. Let's see how bright they are. Now it's pretty simple. This is the bulb I'm using in your trunk. There's a little panel, it pops up, super easy to, to look at. It's gonna be the top bulb for the blinker, bottom for the reverse light. So I'm gonna do the blinker. Cool, it took all of about 10 seconds to change it out. It's now in, fits perfect. So now, as you can probably tell, the left-hand side one's a little brighter. So this is gonna be the new bulb. This is gonna be the stock bulb. This is what the backup light looks stock. Now oh, this is in broad daylight with one bulb replaced. It's been about a week now since I've upgraded the blinker, the, the rear blinkers and reverse lights. And I gotta say, the lights are very good. They're very bright and they give my car a different feel. Although I don't see them very much because I'm usually driving my car. In the tests, as you guys saw earlier, um, they're very bright. Very bright, they do what they say they're gonna do and that's nice. The only negative thing that I could say is that in a 2010 Prius, which is what I have, it does cause hyper flash. So that could be a little annoying to some people. It is annoying to me. Although the only times I do find it very annoying is when you're stopped at a red light and you're in a turning lane and it, you know, it's constantly flashing and blinking. But I found that you can really drown that out with just some loud music, which I think most people do. So that doesn't turn me away from using the product. Hyper flash is annoying, but it does what I wanted it to do, which is just be brighter and make the car look a little nicer. Hyper flash is not illegal, so I, there's that. And also there's, I could be mistaken, but from what I read online, hyper flash doesn't damage anything in your vehicle. You might need to replace your relay, I believe it is, for your blinker because you're using it more often or something like that. But honestly, I don't know. It's not that much of a downside to these bulbs. So if you're considering picking them up, I'll leave them linked down below and you guys can decide for yourself. But again, this is for a 2010 Prius. So if you guys have any questions, let me know down below and I'll get back to you guys. Thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.